മൊഡ്യൂൾ ത്രീയിലെ ഏറ്റവും ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഡെറിവേഷൻ ആണ് ഈ വീഡിയോയിൽ ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ബെർണോളിസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ്റെ ഡെറിവേഷൻ അപ്പോൾ അതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം യൂളേഴ്സ് ഇക്വേഷൻ ഓഫ് മോഷൻ എന്താണെന്ന് നോക്കാൻ പോവാണ് പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോയിൽ നമ്മൾ യൂളേഴ്സ് ഇക്വേഷൻ്റെ ജനറൽ ഇക്വേഷൻ കണ്ടതാണ് അതായത് നെറ്റ് ഫോഴ്സ് എഫ് എക്സ് വിൽ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു സമ്മേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഗ്രാവിറ്റി ഫോഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് പ്രഷർ ഫോഴ്സ് അപ്പം ഇതാണ് യൂളേഴ്സ് ഇക്വേഷൻ ഈ ഇക്വേഷൻ യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് എങ്ങനെയാണ് ബെർണോളജ് ഇക്വേഷൻ ഡിറൈവ് ചെയ്യുന്നതെന്നാണ് നോക്കുന്നത് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് പെർപ്പസ് വി ആർ കൺസിഡറിങ് മോഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് എലം എലമെൻറ്റ് അലോങ് ആൻഡ് സ്ട്രീം ലൈൻ ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലോ ഇൻ ദ ഡയറക്ഷൻ എസ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് വൺ വി ആർ കൺസിഡറിങ് എ സിലിൻഡ്രിക്കൽ എലമെൻറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഹൂസ് ക്രോസ് സെക്ഷനൽ ഏരിയ ഇസ് ഡി എ ആൻഡ് ലെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് സിലിൻഡ്രിക്കൽ എലമെൻറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡി എസ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് ഫ്ലോയിങ് ഇൻ എസ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ സോ ഇഫ് യു സി വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഫോഴ്സസ് ആക്ടിങ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വൺ ദിസ് സിലിൻഡ്രിക്കൽ എലമെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് എറ്റ് എൻ എ ഇൻക്ലൈൻ ടു എൻ ആങ്കിൾ തീറ്റ ഓർ ഐ ക്യാൻ സേ ഇഫ് ഐ പ്ലോട്ട് ദ വെയ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സിലിൻഡ്രിക്കൽ എലമെൻറ്റ് വെർട്ടിക്കലി ഡൗൺവേർഡ് ദിസ് വിൽ ഹാവ് എൻ ആങ്കിൾ തീറ്റ വിത്ത് ദ ഹോർസോൺ വിത്ത് ദ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫ്ലോ ഓക്കെ സോ അഗെയിൻ ദിസ് വെയ്റ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി റിട്ടൺ ആസ് രോജി ഇൻ ടു വോളിയം വെർ വോളിയം മീൻസ് area into length of the body so da into ds so this is one of the force which is acting on the cylindrical element the other forces are pa in this direction vertically up in this direction of flow that is in x direction that is p into da pressure force act in this direction similarly to opposite to this direction pressure force act against the flow direction that will be equal to p plus always there will be a minute change in the original pressure force whatever acting over here so that will be a change in the original pressure in which direction the flow is occurring in s direction so change in pressure in s direction in the direction s into da so this is the pressure force acting opposite to the di flow direction so if you see what are the forces acting on a cylindrical element these are the three forces which is acting on a cylindrical element so pressure force p da in the direction of flow pressure force p plus dou p by dou s into ds into da opposite to the direction and then the weight of the fluid element that is rho g into da into ds okay now if you are using euler's equation that is net force is equal to summation of gravity force and pressure force so this is the gravity force over here the third one is the gravity force so fg and these two are the pressure force so euler's equation is summation of gravity force and pressure force so if you consider the net force we can see that p da min p da is in s direction minus p plus dou p by dou s into ds into da because this is in opposite direction so we are giving a negative sign minus weight rho g into da into ds into cos theta in as the weight is vertically downward we uh, we are taking the component which is in ds direction so we are incorporating cos theta to this this will be equal to net force so what is net force over here net force will be equal to m into acceleration in s direction if i try to replace this m if i try to replace this m means if i substitute in terms of rho g itself we know that rho g into da into ds is the weight so if i need the mass only i can just eliminate g from there so the mass will be equal to rho g into sorry rho into da into ds into m into acceleration in s direction so this is the net force of euler's equation so let this equation be 1 now we are going to substitute as acceleration in s direction so we know that the basic equation of ax is x is a, a is a function of space and time if a is a space and function of space and time we can write the equation as like this so similarly here we we have only one single direction so a is as so this depends upon the space s and time so we can if the v is the velocity in s direction if v is the velocity in x direction we can write this equation as dou v by dou s into dou s by dou t plus dou v by dou t or what is dou s by dou t dou s by dou t is length by time that is velocity itself so 
I can write this equation as V into dou V by dou S plus dou V by dou T. Okay, so this is the equation that we have to substitute over here. Again, for the simplification of this equation, I am considering acceleration as, uh, and considering this flow as steady. If the flow is steady, so flow steady means all properties with respect to time will be negligible. Okay, so dou V by dou T will be equal to 0. So what happens to this one? X will be equal to V into dou V by dou S. So let this equation be 2. Substitute equation 2 in equation 1. So if we substitute that equation in 1, the equation will get simplified. Again here PDA and PDA get cancelled. So the equation becomes minus dou P by dou S into dou S into dou A minus rho into G into dA dS cos theta. This is equal to rho into dA dS into V into dV by dS. Let this be equation 3. Now, we see in this uh, equation 3, we have some common terms. Like we have dS dA. So, divide this equation 3 throughout with dS dA. So, what happens to this equation? minus dou p by dou s minus rho into g into dou a dou s cos theta again i'm taking this part also to the left side itself so minus sorry so rho g into cos theta minus taking this element to this side rho into v into dv by ds is equal to zero let this be equation 4. So, removing the negative sign from equation 4 and again I have to re replace this cos theta also. For that purpose, what I am doing is just see here, we have the line of flow as direction and here this is the weight, right? So, this angle is theta. So, if I represent this as the length of the cylindrical element ds, okay, and this vertical height as dz what will be cos theta in from that triangle cos theta will be equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so replace this cos theta with dz by ds if that is the case and removing this negative sign throughout the equation becomes dou p by dou s plus rho g into this dou z by dou s minus sorry plus rho into v into dou v by dou s this is equal to 0. Now let this equation be 5. Now throughout the equation 5 I am going to divide it by rho. Divide the entire equation by rho. So and multiply it with dou s. So what happens to this equation? This equation becomes dou p by rho plus g into dou z plus v into dou v this is equal to 0 equation 6 again this equation is known as Euler's equation of motion Again, using this equation, we are going to derive Bernoulli's equation. So, let's see how we are going to derive Bernoulli's equation from Euler's equation. So, Bernoulli's equation. So, to derive it, first what we are going to do is, we are going to integrate this equation. We are going to integrate Euler's equation. So, integrating Euler's equation, integral 1 pi rho into dp plus integral g d set plus integral v dv 
this is equal to integral 0 will be equal to constant. So if the fluid is incompressible that means rho is constant, rho is constant, fluid is incompressible. then rho will be constant so the integral answer will be rho into sorry 1 by rho into what is integral dp integral dp will be equal to p plus acceleration due to gravity is a constant so g into integral dz integral dz will be equal to z okay plus integral v dv so v is velocity which is a variable which depends upon v so here v will be equal to v square by 2 this will be equal to constant so rearranging this equation i can write it as p by rho g plus z plus v square by 2g is equal to constant. This equation is known as Bernoulli's equation. So this equation is very important, important throughout this module. p by rho g plus z plus v square by 2g is equal to constant. Always remember the right hand side is constant. Simply you can write it as c over there. So here these three terms are known as head or energies different uh, or we can say Bernoulli's equation is a summation of three energies if you see to those energies the p by rho g is the pressure energy per unit weight of the fluid p by rho g is the pressure energy per unit weight of the fluid or I, we can say p by rho g is the head pressure head because we know that p equal to rho g h so p by rho g will be equal to h so I can say it is a pressure head or pressure energy per unit weight of fluid v square by uh, 2g is kinetic energy per unit weight of the fluid v square by 2g is kinetic energy per unit weight of the fluid and z is so the vertical distance right so it is a potential energy per unit weight of the fluid so Bernoulli's equation is a sum of pressure head kinetic head and potential head and that will be equal to constant or i can say the pressure energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy is constant and there are some assumptions which we have used in deriving this equation and those assumptions are first one is the fluid is ideal that means the viscosity is zero and the second one is the fluid is considered as the flow is considered as steady incompressible and irrotational sometimes uh, questions may come like uh, what are the assumptions that we have used for deriving the Bernoulli's equation so all these uh, uh, assumptions are to be remembered well so the fluid is ideal, viscosity is zero, and it is considered the flow is considered as a steady flow, incompressible flow, and irrotational flow. So we have seen in this video how to derive Euler's equation, and from Euler's equation, integrate it and obtain the Bernoulli's equation of motion. And see, Bernoulli's equation is the summation of three energies: pressure energy, kinetic energy, and potential energy. Sum of all these energies is equal to a constant.